Hello everyone, my name is Christian Ulrich Bath Tech Point. Today our guest is Yona, the product marketing manager at Text Magic. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you and thank you for having me today. Nice to meet you. At first, please tell us what your company does. Uh, yes, I work for Text Magic and we are a business texting solution. Um, we basically cater to clients in the US, Canada, Australia, and UK. And that's about it. What's the biggest problem that you solve for uh, these companies? Business communications. Actually, our motto is making business communications easier for everyone, like everywhere. Okay. And what do you say are the top three most loved features by our customers? So because we are based mainly a business texting solution, uh, the main features are related to business texting. And it's uh, scheduling texts in advance, uh, using SMS templates to like simplify your communication workflows and obviously connecting the tool to other tools like your calendar app or your CRM to automatically respond to messages and provide support, notifications and reminders. Okay. And how about the pricing? What can you tell us about the pricing? How does uh, it we work? Are, yeah, we have a pretty simple pricing. It's a pay-as-you-go plan where you basically mm-hmm. sign up and you load prepaid credit to your account and you start um, building your SMS campaigns and our tool automatically calculates the cost in real time. And, uh, you know, you have full control over your uh, budget, basically. Okay. And what types of clients typically use a solution like yours? What are the use cases? Surprisingly, all types of uh, industries. So first of all, in terms of size, it's smaller and medium businesses that are looking for an easy solution to communicate. Mm -hmm. But in terms of industry, it can be anything from uh, like local uh, brick and mortar stores or, uh, for example, real estate or property management companies. It is even used internally by bigger uh, companies that are trying to improve their internal communications. For example, we have... uh, uh, larger corporations using text magic only to communicate with their staff. Okay, M- makes total sense. Yeah, and uh, in terms of industries, you said that it, yeah. it can vary. Yeah, it can. It can vary. We have uh, quite a lot of uh, medical clients, uh, real estate, dispatch, and logistics for delivery notifications, and uh, we also have uh, quite a few NGOs and charities that are uh, using our platform to fundraise and stuff like that, and. Uh, there's something from every industry, uh, honestly, like <laughs> nice. even support or churches. Yeah. Okay. And do you have a favorite customer success story that you can share with us? I like to ask people just to give a typical example of how you improve their uh, I don't know, conversion yeah. rates or uh, uh, communication with their customers, something that you can share with us. Yes, I do have one client that I remember, and it was quite a few years ago, but I will never forget the story that he left a review for us. Um, he used text magic, uh, for emergency notifications during a hurricane and okay. he left us a review and he was uh, very happy that text magic was there when nobody else was there and they really helped us. And, uh, it really proves to us in terms of, um, how do I say it? Real time communications or like crisis situation, how important text magic can be, uh, for them. That's amazing. I love it. And <laughs> do you have any integrations? Yes, we actually have quite a few. First of all, we have an API uh, okay. that you can uh, fully uh, integrate into your existing software. And we are also on Zapier and there are over 1000 apps that we connect to. Um, and I would say in terms of popularity or usefulness, uh, many of our customers connect to the CRM to automatically like get deal notifications or whenever someone fills out a form or send out a notification automatically. And we also have like calendar scheduling apps, project management integrations and all of that. Right. And how competitive is your space and how do you differentiate? It's really competitive. Um, okay. I think there are business texting solutions popping up every week. Uh, okay. There are a few more well-known players like us, for example, we've been in the industry for about 20 years. And how would we differentiate? I'm not sure if you would see this as a differentiator, but we are really straightforward, easy to use and easy to implement. So you don't have to have any experience. And this lines up really well with our target audience because we have like smaller businesses. They have a lot on their plate and it's hard for them to learn a new tool. So, you know, we're very simple to plug and play, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah of course. It's a, it's a really good differentiator. And if you can share with us, I love to know the founding story of the company, if you are... Uh... 
Yeah, sure. Um, so the company was founded in 2001 by Dan Hutton. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. In the UK. And it was okay. developed for several years before our CEO, Preet Weikma, who is also from Estonia, joined the company as a marketing manager. And after a few more years of developing Text Magic, like it, the UI changed and the features changed quite a lot during the years, he finally uh, fully acquired the company and is now leading it. In 2021, we were uh, listed, like we uh, had our IPO, we went public, and uh, we started developing other uh, tools as well. We, it's, related to the founding story. So we started out as a business, business texting solution. And okay. initially we thought people will be using us for marketing, for communicating with customers and all of that. But it, we, much to our surprise, many of our customers are using us internally as well. It, to our surprise in the past, I mean. And yeah. we figured out that uh, communication is really important at every level of the company. And um, we have somehow developed our business objectives and the things we've been doing in the past three years was to be able to provide communication, integrated communications uh, from our platform on every channel. So we are now like developing email, WhatsApp integrations, Facebook integrations, shared inboxes, collaborations. So this is basically where we are now. Okay. And two questions. What do you mean by, uh, by he acquired the company? You, you mean he took over the, uh, the CEO or? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, buyout. Yeah, company. and uh, uh, where did you IPO? In what country? Uh, in Estonia, Nasdaq. Uh... Okay, okay, makes sense. And now it's public. Well, wow, congratulations. Yeah. And we <laughs> were you. there before the IPO. <laughs> right? Yeah, I was there. I was. I've been uh, collaborating with Text Magic for about seven years, I think. Wow, well, congratulations. So I I love to know how big is the team right now, the overall um, team? Right now we're about 70 plus, almost 80. Uh, mm -hmm. on board and uh, much of our team is development and uh, product so we are developing a lot of new features as I was saying and we actually have acquired another company Vogue which is a website builder and in our growth plan is to continue building more products for communication and small businesses uh, I actually um, opened a marketing office in Romania and uh, our marketing team is at the moment 12 uh, full-time marketing specialists here in Romania. And there was obviously like other members of the team from HR and, you know, ad admin and all of that support. <laughs> <But> <laughs> that's a great story. Congratulations. So basically you are leading the, the marketing team somehow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's, that's amazing. And uh, how do you describe the culture of the company? Um, we are all about um, solving problems, uh, finding solutions, and having an iterative approach to everything that happens. Like, uh, how do you say it? Instead of working on big initiatives over a longer period, we are all about solving something every day, like figuring out something every day. And the second important thing is autonomy. We're very autonomous and we want like our team to be proactive. We communicate quickly, we communicate openly. And uh, yeah, I would say those are the major points. Thank you for sharing. I love to know what was your biggest challenge since joining the company or some mistakes uh, that you did? Opening an office in Romania. <laughs> Why? Why is that? Um, well, uh, you know, it's a process of like building a completely new culture and a completely new office and like scaling a team and keeping them motivated. This is my personal challenge, I would say. Yes. But uh, I'm very happy with the team that we have and they're all really passionate and incredibly hardworking and stuff like that. But business-wise, I'm assuming you're asking me business-wise as well. Yeah, we, you can answer both. <laughs> um, without going into too many technical details, the SMS uh, industry has uh, changed quite a bit in the last few years and now there's way more regulation, you need to be verified the business and there's quite a few things that our customers need to do in order to send SMS campaigns in a compliant way. And we have been trying to, this is like we're trying to educate them about this and about the importance of uh, all of the steps that they need to take to yes. verify their SMS campaigns. Okay. And uh, do you have any piece of advice for somebody that's looking to build a team from scratch? Uh, yes. Uh, you will make mistakes, no matter how hard you prepare for it. There is no way for you to know everything from the beginning. And it's like, cut, cut yourself slack when you're trying to grow a team. And it, how do I say it? It is 
to make mistakes means to grow. So you shouldn't be afraid to make mistakes when you're trying to develop and grow an office. Right. Uh, what, what, what are the best go-to-market strategies for you right now for getting more customers? Um, well, quite a few, I would say. <laughs> what, um, what is the, the main one, let's say, or uh, what do you think works for you especially? Uh, providing value, educational content, and value in general for customers that might be interested in business texting in general, or mm-hmm. like our products in general is a really good way of growing. And I have this, uh, I follow uh, Chris Walker on LinkedIn. He talks a lot about demand capture and demand generation. And many SaaS businesses focus a lot on capturing demand. So that is basically uh, capturing customers who are ready to buy, ready to acquire. But in reality, maybe 5% of businesses are or clients are ready to buy. And you are losing a lot of market uh, potential yes. by not uh, tapping into what the other 95% who need a bit of like help to get there. So what we're doing in uh, Text Magic and in our other tools is trying to provide value through different ways. We build three tools, for example, that they might find useful. We try to nurture through educational content uh, and like, uh, you know, blog articles, uh, help resources uh, and stuff like that. And obviously building a community. This is completely different. And this is something we're trying to do mm, mm, more prominently now because I feel like SaaS softwares don't differentiate through their features nowadays because there are so many amazing SaaS softwares that have amazing features. I think yes. they differentiate through the communities that they build and how much a consumer cares about the product that you're trying to promote. Absolutely. Great answer. I love that. And uh, how, about, how about the future vision for the company and for the, for the marketing side? Well, there's actually quite a few important updates from our side. We have just launched last week a full redesign of our UI and UX and it's uh, like way faster, more responsive, new features and all of that. And uh, long term, we have a huge feature update planned for the end of the year, which is kind of secret right now. So I will uh, <laughs> not say too much, but we are adding other channels. So the the idea with Text Magic is to make it an all-in-one solution for small businesses where you have everything from like internal communications, email marketing campaigns, uh, collaboration features, integrations. So you don't have to buy many fragmented separate software to do your job, have everything in one place and it's easy to use. Yeah, I think this is uh, really helpful and it's it's super easy for people to come in and they have have it already. WhatsApp, Facebook uh, and all the integrations, all the features and uh, yeah, you're right. SaaS is not, uh, they they don't make the decision based on future uh, features. Features are uh, everywhere, so you have to differentiate yourself. And educational content is really good. And it's a, uh, it's an opportunity, like this uh, like this podcast. And yeah. more on the personal side, I love to know how did you start your career as it's a marketer. A very unusual story. I okay. actually did. Uh, I finished architecture university. I started working in marketing uh, during university, just you know, make some extra money, I guess. And uh, I started out as a content writer and then I was really fascinated with SEO and then with the landing page creation, A-B testing and wireframing and all of these things. So kind of naturally evolved. And I worked in a digital agency, actually several digital agencies for a few years. And then I made the move full time to Text Magic. Well, so uh, was Text Magic also your first company? Uh, That I work for, you mean? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I worked uh, in the past for about then... six years. Yeah. And what what was your journey here? So how did you did you start? In ter- in my career. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, in text magic, how did you start? Like the first position, and then uh, throughout the years, uh, you you learn more and uh, grow. So I actually joined when I already had quite a few experience. I was a CMO in a digital agency before, but the um, profile of that company was very different. We had many customers, many different customers from many different industries, if that makes sense. So we were basically supplying them with like SEO services, landing page creation content and all Mm -hmm. of that. And at some point I thought I want to do something way more focused in terms of career. Like it was really challenging for me to, I feel like you cannot fully focus on growing 
a platform if you're always working on other platforms as well. So I wanted to to see how it would work if I could focus only on one product at a time. And uh, that's when I uh, joined Text Magic. So this was three years ago. Right. Okay. Makes total sense. And what would be your best piece of advice for a starting marketer? Let's say to yourself when you're in college starting to, to learn marketing and to, yeah, to apply it. I would say try to learn something every day. And uh, whenever you have something that you don't understand, just search for it and try to learn. And there are so many useful resources online, so many amazing thought leaders that you can learn from and just apply yourself every day and what you're trying to do. Absolutely. I have one last question that I ask everybody on the podcast. What's your favorite SaaS product that you use, but apart from uh, text magic? Um... I have quite a few that I use, but you can uh, share a top three, top five. <laughs> I think it's a. Um, I'm gonna say a pretty boring answer, but I guess I'm still focused a lot on the SEO and organic growth. So every day I use Ahrefs, and I also use a lot of AI empowered tools. Uh, so it's basically ChatGPT integrated into them to do different things. I also really like boards. It's a um, storyboard uh, software that also has some AI features and we're creating videos for our company and explainers and it's helping me quite a lot uh, in my collaboration. And uh, Figma, we use Figma every day. It's an amazing tool and they have created so many great features for, for prototyping and then moving what you're prototyping to your actual website, which I find amazing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Is there anything else that you want to mention today on the podcast? Uh, No, not really. I want to thank you for having me here (laughs) and uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much.